All right guys, welcome to a two minute tie. This is my go-to hopper pattern. First thing you're gonna go ahead and do is put a sewing needle in your vise, do some thread on there, and we're gonna do an extended body. So do about three segments, two pieces of foam top and bottom, whip finish it, and then do a little bit of super glue just to make sure that that doesn't come undone. Once you pull that off, you can grab your hook. I use a size 10 for this, tiny bit of bend on it just to make sure that the hook stands out beneath the body. I go ahead and pierce it through the bottom of that foam and I'm gonna get my thread started on here. I go all the way to the back, back to the front, and then I'm gonna do another piece of foam so that my, my body can actually bite down onto that. From there, I can actually get started. I'm gonna do two more segments on the hook itself now and I'll tie in my legs. I'm gonna use round rubber leg on this, uh, just yellow round rubber leg with bars on it. Find that's the best to do for this fly. It's the fastest and easiest, has the best profile. From there, I can put my Antron wing on here. I'm gonna go ahead and tie that in at this point, double it over and cut it just so it's a little bit longer than that abdomen. From there, I can add my other legs in front of this. I'm gonna add them onto the hook shank itself in between that foam. And then I can move my thread all the way up to the front, right behind that eyelet, secure down the bottom of the foam, finish that off, pull my front, my top foam up on it, adjust those legs where I want them, fold it back for the head, snip that off, and then from there, all I have to do is go ahead and add the wing case and a little cider on top of that as well. I do that wing case about half of the length of the wing. Go ahead and whip finish it in front of the, the head there, right on the shank. And I'm gonna just finish everything off with some super glue, make sure everything's locked in. I can trim those legs to the length that I want them. And then the last step I do, I just add a little bit of Sharpie on each side and Sharpie for the eyes to finish this fly off. 